Hi everyone, welcome back to Retro Asylum. I just wanted to quickly talk about the ZX Spectrum Next, which anyone who listens to our podcast will know I've been very vocal about. I'm really looking forward to the system. I cannot wait for January when that final cased version arrives. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that it all goes to plan and it will be out in time for January. What saddens me is over the past couple of weeks on Facebook, on the Spectrum Next page, there seems to be a lot of negativity recently from people who are saying that the system has become uh, too feature heavy and that's moving away from what the original ZX Spectrum was about. Now, surely the title of the machine says it all. ZX Spectrum Next. Think about it. If Amstrad had carried on with the Spectrum range and had introduced a 16-bit version of the ZX Spectrum, surely it would have had to have competed with the likes of the Atari ST and Commodore Amiga. Surely, okay? So, to me, although the team are using modern techniques to bring these features in, that is all they're doing. And... Yeah, the other thing is, it's quite an expensive piece of kit. There was people moaning at the time, you know, saying, oh, 200 quid is too much for a ZX Spectrum. And now the team have tried to cram in as many features as they can to make it value for money, and people are still moaning. So I'd like your thoughts on this. You know, do you want to see this system and see it really push the boundaries when it comes to 8-bit gaming, which... You know, judging by some of the demos we're seeing, this is really going to probably rival the Amiga in many ways. It's starting to get to that point where, you know, they, I guess they don't really look like 8-bit games. They're pulling off some really nice graphical techniques, parallax scrolling, a lot more colour, no colour clash on, you know, if games are programmed that way. So, yeah, let me know. Let me know if you disagree with me and you think that it should be left alone, but surely if that is the case, you just stick to the original hardware or emulation. But if you want to see a ZX Spectrum machine that's more powerful and can do some amazing things, then again, let me know. I want to hear your thoughts, um, whether you agree or disagree. Okay, thanks guys. We'll see you soon and stay tuned to the Retro Asylum podcast.